All right, you know, so we got this thing jacked up. I've already got one side bust down. Now we're gonna work on the other one. Let me show you uh, just how I did it. Let me show you, let me show you. So all the tools you're gonna need are, you know, a 9 16th or 14 millimeter socket and a 13 millimeter socket for the lower bolts of this here socket absorber. So first thing first guys, let's go here to get to this tower. It's right in this little cubby hole right here. It's a little flat. Um, and then you just reach your hand down in there, which you can tuck this in out of the way is what I would like to do. Uh. So then you can get right here in this little hole and you can feel for it. You can't really see it, guys. So you got to feel for this. But that is essentially a... I'm using a 9 16th. I'm sure 14 millimeter will work as well. And sometimes you go to try to take these off and they'll just spin the entire assembly. So let's try to... And it feels like to me it's just spinning. The whole assembly spinning. So when that happens... What you're gonna have to do is get right in here, guys, and grab a hold of this shock absorber itself and um, use a set of vice grips, is what I use. And then let's get up in there, grab a hold of this here the best you can. Let's grab a hold of it. Best you can get in there. This can be a little tricky getting in there. Gotta find the right angle. Find the right angle to get in there and grab hold of it. Um, so, looks like I got, I'm able to get it from the back side. I gotta tighten up my grip though. Tighten up the grip. Just need to bite. And we gotta lock it. Ah, so that's locked in place. Now we go back up there and try it again. Let's try it again. Put that in place, all right? Let's see what we got. Bushing in there somewhere, All right? So we take that out, and let's go back under this underside, right here. And you got those two 13 millimeter bolts. Mm. A little dusty. We're hard to. Use some anti seeds or something. Go back in with them. There you go. So let's get our vice grips back. Give me those back, please. And once you do that, essentially it just drops out of here. There you go. All with the old. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if these were the originals. They do still feel pretty good for the most part, but I just wanted to change them since we were here and we were working on it. So, out with the old guys. And let's go and get the new, which I'm going with these Monroe Gasmatics. All right, so I should come and look at exactly something like this. This is the shock absorber. And this is your hardware. You got this little boot, dust boot, I imagine, some sort. And that just slides right over here, right over it like that, right? And there we go. Okay. 
So that's it. That's home for the top. And you got your hardware. Okay. So that's all that comes in that. This just goes in like this. Concave side upward. You know? Then you got this little bushing. This side downward. And then essentially you're gonna put this over the top like this. Bam. So that's our setup, right? Right, so let's go ahead and get back here. Get right back here to the action, right? So we're gonna go ahead and go in with it. Try to find the hole, got to feel for it, feel for it. I put my hand on top and then feel for it and I got it. And then this is one directional. It's not gonna go in this way. Um. So make sure these are lined up, these tabs here, so you can get your bolts. And then you're gonna have to give it a little assist. Just push uh, like that, right? A little assist here. Okay. Uh, uh, like a little, little arm strength. Definitely want to try to start these by hand if you can. Okay. issue pitching this one for some reason or another. Alright. This one doesn't want to start. So what I'm gonna do is to help me out. This one's being stubborn, I'm gonna go ahead and just tighten this one up some so it'll bring it up closer for me. But I have enough fighting with it okay so now we about flush so now all I gotta do is just play with this bolt so all right this one just seems like something's wrong with it because this is not starting for nothing So what I'm gonna do is try something else. Cause the bolt itself. So I'm gonna switch it. Switch it around. Or it just likes that hole better. Not too tight. Don't get too crazy with it. So that's in place. So now we're going to go back up top. Oh. Grab our hardware. And now, back to this hole. This one's first. And we're gonna put it this way. And feel for your cap. Huh? This way. Down. And 
And lastly, your nut. And typically when they're new, they usually go on fairly easily. So hopefully we don't have to use a set of pliers because this one got a dust cap on it. You just want to tighten it up, guys. And I like to feel for it. When you feel those uh, rubber stoppers pinch, when you feel the pinch, then you know essentially you should be good to go. So just feel for it. Just start pinching your finger. These don't have to be super tight. Just enough to apply tension so there is no movement. And guys, this may be may be a 14 because this 9 is a little sloppy on here or a little tight. So use a 14. Don't be like do better all right i'm just using a 14 because my assumption is this is an american vehicle so i was assuming that it needed to use a standard it looks like we got the old screw was stuck in this socket so we don't need this this is out of here all right so let me make sure again we're good and tight which it feels pretty good i do believe that it's at some point we'll start spinning that's maybe what's going on here. All right. Uh, so I've already done the left side, which is the easier side to get to because you see the right side is uh, towards the middle of it and it's like closer to the exhaust, which is not difficult, but this one you can get right to it after you remove the spare tire, which you don't have to, but it just makes it a lot easier to get to if you remove the spare tire out of the way, which is what I did. Especially if you have a full spare like me. Um, so once that essentially is out of the way, you just really have this 18 millimeter bolt on the inner side. And then if you look underneath the wheel weld on the other side here, there'll be a 15 millimeter bolt on that side. So just loosen it up, put a wrench on one side, use an impact gun or big ratchet. And just take it out from there which i'll show you i'll demonstrate on the right side like i said and then same same similar setup here 15 on this inner side 18 on this side here so and you just just uncouple it there and it essentially just drops out let me show you the bolt on the frame on the outside if you look here follow me follow me Okay, where are you? It's kind of hidden up in there. But if you look right there, it's just right there. 14. You can get a wrench in there pretty easily. You know? That's it. If you're gonna use an impact gun, I am. Alright, rose extension, like so.
your washers. So you can kind of, as soon as you clip the strip, it's going to try to open up on you. So just be ready. Get this bolt in real quick.
there you have it. Rear shocks installed, y'all. Now for the front. That's all there is to it. It's a done deal, gang. Pablo has officially got his suspension upgraded. Front shocks, rear shocks, rear leaf springs, guys. Damn. All parts off, new parts on, sitting right. So let's make sure it's riding right. That's the next thing we got left to do. So, uh, yeah, guys, appreciate you tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.